Oh my god, they made this shit happen fast. <gasps> oh. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the final episode of Akudama Drive. I expect everything to end horribly. Like and subscribe. Here we go. So, that shit actually hit the fucking train like they were on the fucking train why did y'all come back on the fucking train girl i feel like i feel like because you're maimed something's about to happen that's gonna be even worse to you i figured he would be okay what's wrong oh so that's his other arm now okay i think you're definitely dead i think you're definitely dead courier is she gonna be able to keep that leg? Aren't they kinda already vessels for Kanto? Because part of that shit got uploaded anyways. I I really think that's about to come up in a very bad way. That's the second time they've mentioned that. Oh, Shikoku, is that the coordinates? What is that Shikoku? Well, I'm asking what's that Shikoku knowing damn well this is the last episode. Mm. Now, don't y'all do... Don't y'all do uh, no, like, romantic thing at the very end of this. Uh, and there they go. They just did it. See, these executioners have... Uh, Oh, she actually went out there. You can't swindle them. They're gonna find out that you're who you are. Now, that is... That's true. That's true. Is that what's gonna bring it? They're gonna come back, I feel. In some form or fashion. Because they're immortal anyways. Dead. 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 You're dead. They have so much more personality that... Uh, look at that. They already know. Oh, 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 she gets her little, like, intro thing. Like all of them did. Aww. Is something about to happen? Somebody came through. Somebody had to come through. I don't think they're gonna let this girl die. Oh. Oh! Oh shit, they actually killing her. Oh, this music. Oh. That's the little girl that watched her parents get piled up in that body of dead uh, citizen Akudama. Something's about to happen. There's gonna be like a future generation of just monsters or something. What? Whoa! Oh! Oh, look at this symbolic. Ooh. Are they saying she's some kind of Jesus? Is she dead? She's smiling. She really is. Oh, I really like the other executioners. Is she going to deal with him herself? Oh, look at all of y'all. Uh-uh, what you doing, girl? You going to betray them now or nah? What we going to do? Ooh. Okay, the visuals this episode are fucking amazing. Oh. Oh, you dummy! Why is he still there? Oh! <gasps> Yo, they're not chilling out! Damn, you still ain't shit, girl! Ooh. Oh! It's still, she still got him. Fuck, they really might kill all the Akudama by the end of this. It's the little girl. It's the little girl. Oh my God, what's she about to do? Oh! Oh, they got him out of here. Oh my god, they made this shit happen fast! <gasps> oh! 
Ba ba go. Oh. Whoa! Oh, the citizens didn't like that shit. Oh, Swindler got their asses. Bitch. You can't kill all of them. Oh my god. It's the whole city. The whole city this time. Whoa! What? Whoa! Something else is going on. There's no reason for the shark and the buddy to turn on them. Somebody else is pulling all this shit. Well? Well? Swindler! What did she do? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh boy. I guess those no, the kids are gonna live. Courier's definitely dying from blood loss. This is cool. It seems like the motorcycle's about to die though. It looked like it was on its like last energy legs. He about to die on that bike. God damn. They really killed all of them. They really went through with this shit. They're really still sending people after them? Everything is in disarray. Oh. Oh, okay. There's definitely some symbology. Uh, what does Swindler do? Is that a bomb? He blowing y'all up. Oh. The music. Come on, nigga. No! Ooh. No! My nigga! Keep going, babies. If y'all don't make it, this whole show is worthless. Nigga, what? How you survive that? Oh my God. What you gonna use the power to, oh. Can you touch that? Whoa! They are still hell-bent on getting those kids. The moon in the background. What's going on, Swindler? What did you do? Oh! Oh, I knew he was gonna have to use his arm. That's cool as fuck. The oh, this is some cool shit. Ooh! All right, that's a wrap for you, bruh. That's a wrap. You did a really good job. I am so proud of you. <laughs> it's a wrap. Damn. If only Brawler could have made it this far. Uh, oh. I need to see Shikoku. Y'all better not do this. Are we getting another season? Is this, this isn't over. It's another hell on the other side of that mountain. Oh, is this what Swindler saw? It's those two walking through the tunnel? Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna show a shit, huh? Uh-uh. Okay, so let's let's go into this. Let's go into this. This might be a little while. I'm gonna try to keep it short though. The kids got away. All of our Akudama died. I'm actually a-okay with that. I felt like if Swindler made it to the very end with them, I would have been like, oh girl, of all the people who should have died, you should have died. And she did. And honestly, she came into her own, you know, like, you know, definition of who she is by the end. And she got her Akudama moniker, like, you know, intro sequence and everything like everybody else did. And it was cute. There was a lot of symbolism going along in this episode. Like, I legit was just like, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. With her dying damn near on the cross, what it looks like, and then that being the, the light 
a fire that set everybody up, which I mean, of course she swindled everyone. She did the little hacking thing. But I'm also wondering what the fuck is up with the, uh, the rabbit and the shark. Why did the rabbit and the shark go along with that shit? Like, are they independent AIs doing that stuff? Or was it Swindler controlling those two things in the first place? Like, is that what's going on? Because we didn't start seeing those things until, like, after Swindler was, like, in the shit. That's when we said we didn't see it, like, beforehand. Or I'm assuming we didn't see it beforehand. So that was just another question that I had that was in the back of my head. Courier went out in the best way. Like, Courier went out in a similar way to Brawler. And you can't, well, I would say Courier went out in a way where we got to see how he went out. We didn't really get to see the ending ending of Brawler. We saw Hoodlum and Homegirl like walk over it. Also, Homegirl did not betray the Executioners, which I thought that they were setting her up for the entire season. She didn't do it. She basically was just like, oh, guess what? Your entire like mindset and all that kind of shit like that, y'all are fucked. Y'all are fucked because you are literally no different than those Akudama. None. If anything, y'all should be trying to rehabilitate them, not just straight up kill the motherfuckers or lock them up. Like, maybe it's a comment on the prison system in other countries. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I'm not really sure at this moment. Overall, the episode definitely hit, hit, hit with the art direction. It was fucking perfect. It was so beautiful. The music was beautiful. Like, everything just really came together. Also, they gave those executioners, like, really good, like, you know, lines and personalities at the very end to the point where I was like, I want to see more of the executioners. Like, I, I, I wanted to see more of them. And uh, for us to get introduced to the executioners that are actually entertaining and for a homeboy to be at the very end, it's kind of just like, ugh, whatever. Also, the useless one died. The, great, great. He should have been out of here earlier. Great. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I knew that they were going to do something with that little girl. They kept panning back to her. And I was like, there's no way that we're going to get through this without her doing something. They made it so obvious that she was traumatized when her parents' bodies were being put in that fucking pile of dead bodies. There was no way we were going to get through this. Maybe I expected it to maybe be part of the epilogue where we see her as a grown up or like in a, a um like you know a time skip where she's leading shit cuz she's just like I hate this shit. They took my life from me. They took my parents from me. Fuck them. Burn this shit down and then you know there she's working with the brother and sister and all kind of shit like that. You know things happen. No. They brought her through this episode and she popped him and she popped the one that you know was useless because we've been saying he's useless for weeks he's useless other than that overall i'm not gonna say that this is a must recommend series for everyone did i enjoy it absolutely is it gonna be something that i recommend for someone who's first looking to get into anime absolutely not I'd recommend this if you know you're looking for something to get through really quickly on a weekend and you want a lot of like action, but you don't really want to have to think too hard. Like the show gives us everything that we need straight up and forward. And I just gotta, the symbolicism this episode was fucking just amazing. Amazing. Like there was, a, there were a lot of scenes where I just wanted to take a screenshot and basically be like, this is gonna be my wallpaper for a few days. Not that bloody cross shit, but you know, like when they were in front of the Aku, the executioner building. Yeah, that it was some gorgeous stuff, especially when the snow came into play. Also that scene where Courier used his arm as like the other like piston thing or whatever to control the blast. Yeah, this was, this was good. It's a good series, but it's definitely not deep ish enough for me maybe a lot of people have looked into it and maybe they're getting other things out of it but for me i really enjoyed it i'd recommend it to someone if they just wanted something to watch and they were all out of things but as far as everything else that we've gotten offered this season there were so many shows to watch and i think this one definitely came out like maybe like top 10 of those shows which i mean that's not actually that is a lot because we had so much stuff come out this season so yeah i think it's a really good add to anyone's collection especially with the Rampa writer i did not expect everybody to die because at least we get a little bit of hope 
But this ain't Dong and Rampa. So I guess they were like, ah, no hope. Only for the babies. The babies are the only ones that get the hope. I just really wanted to know what was in Shikoku. And if we don't find out what's in Shikoku now, I guess I'm okay with that ending. But if they bring a second season, I would be hyped. Because then I'll be like, all right, pick the shit up, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Because those twins, I feel like because they have that coin, it's only going to bring misfortune around them. And they're going to suffer so much because everyone around them keeps dying. And they're the only ones that are going to keep living. That's all I got for y'all. We will definitely be talking about this in more detail on uh, my anime podcast, Anime Savant, every Tuesday at 10 a.m. So this upcoming Tuesday after Christmas, we will be discussing this. We'll be wrapping this series up. And uh, also, if you have not already, I would really, 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 really like to know you all's comments below. Would you recommend this to someone else to watch? Were you pleased with that finale? What were the shortcomings that you think of the show? Like, you know, let me know. I want to discuss it because I enjoyed the ride. But I feel like this is a little bit missing. Also, please like and subscribe too. It really helps the channel. I'm going through Dora Hedora right now. And I'm about to get some Beastars and Banana Fish up for you guys too. So... Yeah, we're about to chug it. Like, there's going to be a new video every day. So, be ready, y'all. Thank you for watching.